in NHL 24 World Championship Player Draft. As you saw in my last World Championship video, I qualified to the European Championships. I'm now officially a top 8 player in Europe this year. We were a penalty shot away from getting eliminated multiple overtimes, but here I still am. And the European Championships are coming up this week, and the team draft is up next, so we got provided with a player list, there's about 250 NHL players in this list and the 8 remaining players in Europe will pick uh, their teams in a snake draft format and then we get the players we pick uh, as hot cards in game which we will play with the rest of the world championships this is one of my favorite parts of the tournament every year there's no duplicate players anymore teams will be equal there's a strategy involved with the draft here's all the players in the european championships and here's the draft order i have the second overall pick because i'm the second highest seed in the tournament based on the qualifiers all right so here we go nick ketuk with the first pick, Connor McDavid, I took Nathan McKinnon. What I didn't mention in the intro is that there's not every single NHL player here. It's a limited list for balancing reasons, I, I don't know. I didn't honestly care if I got McKinnon or McDavid. Yeah. Both of them have like 98 speed. Only difference is McDavid has wheels and McKinnon has unstoppable for us. Both are insane. Only forwards with 90 four plus speed I think in the draft so completely dominant in this format. Matthews went third and Kucherov went fourth. I would have probably taken Crosby over Kucherov because centers are non-existent. Makar went fifth, Pettersson went sixth. There's no Crosby to be seen. Finally Crosby went to number seven to Temu. So in the screen you see all the players who have been taken and then you see who has taken them the name next to it. Hughes went eighth, man, dude. Obviously Hughes is amazing 94 overall but he's really small. I probably would have not taken him. Also Pettersson, yeah, 94 overall, but he's good everywhere, but doesn't really have any massive strengths, right? I would have not taken him this early as well. I'm shocked Jack Hughes isn't gone yet. Okay, Hughes went next to Alphaberry again, and then Teemu took Mülander. So first round was McDavid, McKinnon, Matthews, Kucherov, Makar, Pettersson, Crosby, Hughes, and Jack Hughes. Both Hugheses. <laughs> Alphaberry took both of the Hughes brothers. Eight and nine. That's awesome. Larkin and Hintz went, the only skaters outside of McDavid who had gold wheels. Oh, I really wanted not one of those guys at center, but I couldn't get it. My pick is coming after the next one. So Matthew Tachak is here. I'll probably take Slavin, bit off the board, but he has gold shutdown. Only player in the draft with gold shutdown, and we all know how good gold shutdown is this year. I'll take Slavin. I actually think after Makar, Slavin was the best defender in the draft. So I think next pick I'll take... Uh, Matthew Tachak. I still don't have a center, but the centers drop off massively after hints. Nick has two picks here before I take again. Nick went Cairo. Yeah, he's really fast, Cairo. And he has some good abilities. The thing is, Tachak is good everywhere, right? But he's just a bit slow. He doesn't have any good abilities, though. Big Dipper. But I think Tachak and McKinnon, totally different players. One is fast, one is big. I think they could complement each other pretty, pretty nicely. Nick took Darlene. Second, he took Nick taught like five minutes. So in the first three rounds, I got McKinnon, Matthew Tachak, and Slavin, who's the only defenseman in the draft, with uh, with gold shutdown. Yeah, I think dude, the Slavin pick was perfect. How did he fall to me? Second round was Jack Hughes, Nylander, Heiskanen, Larkin, Hintz, Ovechkin, Slavin, and Cairo. Round three was Tachak, Doughty, Forsberg, Hurdle, Suzuki, Theodore Dobson. I don't, I don't know which center I have remaining in my first round, in my first line. Best face of in the draft is actually Vincent Trocek. He has 92 faceoffs, best in the draft. I think I'll take a right-handed defenseman and a center next. Then I have my first line ready to go, right? If I get the option, do I take Horvat, Trocek, or Duchesne? Oh no, Tempani just took Duchesne just before me and it's my pick. Jesus, man. Yeah, we need to take center. Horvat or Trocek? If Trocek is still here, I'll just take Trocek next. Then I have both. My picks are always three apart. So I pick, then Nick picks two, and then I pick again. So I'll just take Trocek if he's still here. Round four was Kempe, Robertson, Sider, Verensky, Carson, Duchesne, Horvat, and Fox. I actually got Trocek as well. So now I don't have to worry about centers. I have Trocek and Horvat. For those interested, here's everybody in the draft with 80 plus faceoffs. It goes from the best faceoff to 80. Yeah, so I took Horvat and Trocek. So I will be really strong on faceoffs. Round 5. Trocek, Pelek, Nurse, Hall, Terry, Seguin, Busnevich. Hall as an 85 overall went really early but again, he's really, really, really high on speed and he's one of the best players in game always has been, right? So Only these top overall players have abilities though. That's the thing. Uh, so yeah, if we go to lower or last, abilities completely disappear. My pick again, here's the players available. Marsh and Stone, Tachak would be the best overalls. Done. 
connect me Zuccarello. Lot of speed down below, but I don't know how Mark Stone is still here. I had him in my team last year, so I picked him. This is the third time I've picked him in this GWC draft stage, and every time I've absolutely loved him. I would need a right-handed defenseman. Bouchard will go, Anderson will go, Wigar will go, all these guys will go. So who would I even have? You know what I just noticed? Bouchard has speed synergy, which McKinnon and Trocek has as well, and I can activate that. I haven't even talked to you guys about the synergies. So Bouchard over Uyghur, they're the same overall. Ability-wise, Bouchard has one T Thunderclap, so offensive abilities. Uyghur would have had quick pick and shut down, but Uyghur is 180 CM, and Bouchard is a lot bigger. He has two less in speed, but look at this. Speed boost would add two plus to balance, two plus to speed, two plus to deking and to defensive awareness. I would need eight of these players. I only already have four or three, but coach counts as well. So yeah, I only need four more. Round six was Thak, Montor, Verhegni, Tippett, Keller, Chabot, me, Mark Stone, and Bjorkstan. Round seven, Kadri, Bouchard, Marshan, Tachak. Fowler, Sanderson, Boldy, and Bedard. I haven't shown you the goalies. There's kind of a big five and then it drops off. Vasi, Hellebach, Ulmark, Demko, Sorokin, and then it's like Shesterkin, Saros, Yari, Gibson. But look at this. Demko, only goal in the draft with cold light work. And I almost got knocked out of the world champs in the qualifiers because of that freaking Hootchaps Kemper or Tutsio had in the net with cold light work. And especially with versus overalls, shots being a bit lower, dude, cold light work might absolutely be amazing. But I need to wait like a couple more picks if I would get a Demko. Anyway, I think I'll take a goalie next so I get one of the better ones. It's my pick. I think now it's time to go for a goalie. I wouldn't even be here without Demko's pad in the penalty shot, in the qualifiers. Cold light work. Me and you, Demko. Me and you. you we started this thing in the qualifiers. We'll freaking finish. It's my pick again. Couture is still here. Zuccarello. I think we have to go Couture. Actually, let's look at the fastest available. Let's look at the fastest available. We have Miles Wood and Duclair. Lafaniere would have the same speed as Couture with the speed turning. Dude, I'll take Lafaniere. I'll take my guy right here. I don't think Couture probably isn't that good. Lafaniere, 84 overall. I get the speed turning active with him. Gets to an 89 speed. He has some good size. I think that's a good decision. Round 8? 7? What is this? 8? <laughs> Don Konechny, Anderson, Mike. Caulfield, Uyghur, Demko, and Hellebuck. It's my turn again. I have my top two forward lines and I have one deep pair and a goalie. So I think before I start closing out my later lines, I really want that second line deep pair. So the thing is, I'm comfortable with scoring no matter who I have in the team. But look at how much the defense falls off. These are the best defensemen available. So yeah, I already actually thought about who I want. And Thomas Harley is the first choice. He has 87 speed, good speed, and he has solid size, 193 cm. 84 overall. He looks good. All right, I think this is round nine, maybe 10, nine. <laughs> Duclair, Lafaniere, Ulomark, Vasilevsky, Petri, Kosen, Sorokin, Carlo. And then the next round, Cirelli, Pionk, Stahl, Stolars, Forsling, Shen, Harley, Drysdale. Draft is starting to get less interesting. Let's skip to the end of the draft, see everybody's team. So here's my team for the European finals. And if I qualify for the world finals, for the world finals as well. At first, after the draft, I didn't really love my team. I felt like I got a lot of picks stolen, but after playing with the team, I've been really, really happy. I've been playing with the team for five days now. And got to say, this Nathan McKinnon in this format is absolutely disgusting. 99 speed against players who have nowhere near 99 speed. He just does whatever he wants. I know this Trocek is better in the first line than Horvat, because Trocek has the best face-offs in the entire draft, so that's good to know always in my first line. And literally everybody in my team has been better than I thought, except for Matthew Tachak and Slavin. So if I would have to do the draft over again, I would maybe redo these two picks. Maybe. They're still decent, but they haven't been as good as I thought. Horvat is unbelievable. Stone is unbelievable. Lafanir unbelievable. And I really think defensive boost and especially speed boost has helped my players a ton and obviously them going net with cold light work let's quickly go through everybody else's team as well so you see kind of what i'm up against first pick nick Dangles. here's his team a lot of fast forwards uh pretty good defensive goal hella back in net i personally couldn't play with the team this small but uh, i know nick likes his small players here's my team again and one thing i forgot to mention we had to choose an nhl team to represent in the tournament moving forward i choose the new york 
York Islanders like I have the last three years. They've been kind enough to contact me every year, promote me on social media, send me some merch. So yeah, uh, thank you, New York Islanders. Here's Tempanen's team, us two qualified to the World Finals last year. On paper, his team looks the strongest. Uh, to me. But again, after I played against him and all, I think my team is better, but this this team is really good. Eakens team looks pretty good as well. Nurse Carson is unbelievable, but after that, really average. Kibex took some weird picks. Um, he has a really fast team. Larkin, Hurtle, Hall. Playing against Kibex, his team, it looks pretty awful on paper, but in game, uh, he knew what he was doing. His defense is pretty good as well, but he doesn't have a goalie. Anthony Stollard. <laughs> Internet. I think it took him because he was really tall, but in screams, Tolars hasn't been good. Then Launon X, Duke Peterson first, which I don't understand. This is the worst team in the draft, in my opinion. Temu has one of the best teams, in my opinion. As you see, none of these teams are perfect. I think all the teams are pretty even. There's not really a single team way better than the rest. I think there's teams I prefer over the others. Like, I think mine and Tempanen's team, for me personally at least, are my favorite teams. Yeah, he has Alpha Berry's team. He has both of the Hughes brothers. Just no centers. Yeah, Hughes and Cyril are centers, but like zero good phase of ratings. I don't know about anybody else's synergies. I know there's a couple guys with speed boost active, like Lalonex and Kibex. But other than that, I don't think people have synergies active. And that's where I have a bit of an advantage. I have speed boost and defensive boost, especially defensive boost on three of my centers. I don't think I'll be losing many draws. Here's everybody's team. Let me know in the comments which team you prefer. In the comments, I'll write everybody's team and drop a thumbs up on the team you like the most. I'm interested to hear what do you guys think. So let's test this team out against a fellow competitor. I'm playing against Alpha Börje, one of the eight players in the European Championships. Let's see how my team compares to his in-game. This guy was the biggest dark horse to make it to the European Championships. So yeah, interested to see overall what his level is. <laughs> I already did play one Rivals game with my team and uh, yeah, it felt really good. So I'm, I'm highly excited to test it out against a similar level team. He has the Hughes brothers, <laughs> Svesnikov talk using the first one. McKinnon. Oh, look at the speed. Oh. Dude, McKinnon is crazy on this gameplay, dude. Second line, Horvath Lafonier Stone. In my first Rivals game, this line was dominating. Let's see now. Lafonier, Horvath. Oh. So after I qualified, I played a lot of online versus and I've absolutely been on fire. Like I'm, I'm so confident right now. Um, yeah, I really, really would want to keep this heading into the competition. Atkinson, Wallman, Wallman, backhand. No. Atkinson, backdoor, beautiful pass. Drury with the first goal. <laughs> My fourth line center. Hey, fourth line is important. Stone. <sighs> Everybody passed on stone, but in this lower gameplay, this is not hot. This is versus gameplay. Dude, these big boys in the corners dominate. You can't get the puck out of him. Yeah, thank you for giving me stone, man. <laughs> nice, gold light work. There we go. There we go. Push out. Oh, come on. Hey, why is Slavin leaving the back door? Damn, go. McKinnon. We need to use McKinnon's speed here. There we go. Yeah, this is what he, this is what he does best. Yeah, he absolutely dominating. McKinnon. This is so good. Matter of time when he finds the back of the net. Kind of the bad thing about having a card that dominant is that I just want to pass to him all the time and play with him all the time. Then I become easy to read if I just get it to McKinnon all the time. Slavin. Oh my god, I just allowed him to get to the middle. Aye, aye, aye. I tried to be too aggressive on the blue line. Yeah, he has to trick McKinnon again. Dude, that McKinnon is causing trouble. But yeah, of course he is. Good patience. No! Oh my god, I almost passed it into my own net. Stone. Stone is so dominant. What a pass. Lafanier, beautiful patience. Again, Stone with the zone entry. He can't really hit him because Stone is just so massive and Lafanier finishes. Dude, guys like Owen Tippett went before Mark Stone. I just don't understand. I don't understand. Stone, Mark Stone. 
Dude, Stone is doing everything on the ice, man. Thank you for giving me Mark Stone. I'm telling you, when the gameplay slows down, it's not the back and forth freaking 99 hot. These big, bigger players are incredible. Dude, look at this shit, man. Look at this shit. Look at this man. My second line, Horvath Lafanier and uh, Stone. Absolutely incredible. McKinnon. 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 Nathan McKinnon. Oh, I love my team, boys. <laughs> okay, I'm get I think I'm getting a bit too excited. Good save. Look at Dimko as well. 12 seconds. Minnesota is first game here. Oh, with the squad. Let's just throw it out. Alright. I'm liking it. Liking it. So I've been playing for quite a bit now with my new team. Here's how my games have gone against the other competitors. So from Alpha Beria to Eken, here's all the European finalists. I'm 19 and 8 in practice games so far against all these people. So I've been happy with my team and I've been really happy with my gameplay level. I'm at a way better state at the moment than I was the last two years when I felt like all my practice games were pretty 50-50 uh, against the other European finalists. But now I feel like I'm a bit ahead. I still would want to find that extra level. But yeah, I have a couple days here to practice still. This weekend the European Championships will be played. It will be a LAN event. I will vlog it. I will have a recap for it out for you next week. Everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're closing in on 40,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Have a great day and see you next time.